Welcome to Viking Tools for Rivet. In this video, we will insert and adjust a Viking valve from the Viking Rivet. We'll look at how Rivet determines the initial orientation of the valve family and how to adjust it if necessary. I have a blank mechanical template open and I'm working in Rivet 2019 for this example. The first thing I'm going to do is load the Viking groove pipe and families from the Rivet. This creates a pipe type, loads the grooved fitting families, and sets up the pipe routing table for you automatically. I'll start by drawing some 4 inch pipe using the Viking groove pipe type. I'll start by drawing a horizontal pipe at 9 feet, and I'm going to drop down to 2 feet over four feet or so, and then rise back up to nine feet. This will give me two vertical pipes drawn from top to bottom and bottom to top, and you'll see why shortly. I'll create a section view so it's easy to see how this system is actually being built. Notice that the pipe has the groove fittings and couplings inserted properly. I'll now select a valve from the Viking ribbon to insert into my project model. For simplicity in this example, I will choose a 4 inch model J1 grooved alarm valve with vertical trim. All of the valves use the same technique. Set the elevation offset to 5 feet. I'll also insert the same valve into the other vertical pipe. Make sure that both valves the offset is set to 5 feet. You'll notice immediately that there's an issue with the orientation. The offsets for both insertions is 5 feet, but the one on the right is upside down. This is due to the way that Revit connects families and not a problem as long as you're aware, aware of what is happening. The direction the pipe is created in is important to Revit, and at first it may seem backwards, and in this case it is. Very simple to fix. Simply select the valve and reverse the orientation. You can reset the offset elevation in the properties to 5 feet. Next thing we might want to do is change the rotation of the valve so that it's looking the right, right direction. For practice uh, purposes, let's just select a valve and change the offset value to 4 foot 6 and look at the model as it's adjusted. One of the great advantages of Revit is that if you make a change in one view, it is changed in all views. See it here in the, the 3D view. And that's how you insert and adjust a Viking valve from the Viking Tools ribbon. Thanks for watching.